this ever happened to you? You're innocently walking in the hall, trying to get to your next class, when you run into a group of people who rudely stopped. Here's a message to all you people who stop in the hall. Don't do it. No one likes it, and no one will like you. I'm Mikey. I'm CJ. This is CDS TV. If you have not ordered your yearbook, listen up! The price has increased to $45 December 1st, so get to the bookstore today and order your yearbook for $40. Come out to the fishing club meeting on Wednesday, December 2nd before school in Mr. Lohman's room, E216. We will announce our next fishing trip. Mmm, what well, smells so good? I think it's the Gold King Candles the stand club is selling. Find any stand club member or go to the room E253 to purchase a delicious smelling candle. The candles make great presents, especially for your family, coaches, and teachers. And now, let's take a look at special program, Tempe Sister Cities. It's like two different awesome parties. It's like the one in the country you go to, and then you come back, and everyone from the country comes back, and you all hang out together all the time. And it's like, you just made like 20 new friends, and we did that a lot. Uh, the Sister Cities program um, was started by Harry Mitchell uh, back in oh, 1971, I believe. It was an exchange program with uh, Macedonia. They were able to go to China, uh, Macedonia, Regensburg, Ireland, and France, and Lower Hutt, New Zealand. The application process, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it was pretty tough, but it wasn't too bad. I mean, like, even if you don't get in to the program, I mean, you can still take a lot out of the application process. So, it was pretty good. Say, if you are lucky enough to live in the city of Tempe and you're a junior, you should, I, I don't understand why you wouldn't try for this program. I mean, it's just, it's an incredible opportunity. Both of my children did it and they will tell you it was truly a life-changing experience for them, and they have friendships now you know, with students all over the world. And as a matter of fact, the motto for Sister Cities is you know, gaining, um, you know, gaining friends one person at a time, one, one friend at a time, and that's how we really are able to you know, have our outreach in the world. So I would, I would say do it. <laughs> All students interested in the close-up trip to Washington, D.C., you will need to set up an account with Mr. Brown, so stop by room E284 to do this and let Mr. Brown know whether you would like a lunch or dinner at the White House. Nomination forms for the Tempe Top Teen Courage Awards are now available in the Activities Office. Stop by and nominate a deserving student. Teachers, we are looking for a club or group that might be interested in the Pennies for Patients program. The money this program raises helps fund research to find a cure for blood cancers. If you're interested, see Nancy in the Activities Office for more information. Now for some quick commercials from our local business participating in the market. Did you know there are almost 15,000 homeless people in Arizona? Many of them are families with children. It's Corona's goal to provide blankets for as many families as we can this winter season in cooperation with Blanketing Arizona and Student Council. What is Blanketing Arizona? Blanketing Arizona is an organization that my family and I started when we used to take grocery carts full of canned food and um, the homeless started asking for blankets because they were really cold in the winter so we started this organization where we have blanket donations and chili donations and we have a huge chili cook-off and um, on Christmas Eve morning we go down and hand out all the chili and blankets to all the homeless. Where can we donate our blankets? Uh, Corona's doing a blanket drive and um, just give it to your homeroom teacher. There will be a pizza party for the winning homeroom and uh, maybe some other prizes. Corona will be holding a blankie drive to collect as many blankets as we can. We'll be collecting in homerooms. Teachers, check your emails for more information. Oh, okay. yeah. Mr. Armstrong! Mr. Armstrong! Yeah? Need any help? No. I just want you to know, you're the best ever. Yeah, yeah, I know. You want my candy? I got it from Prestige Worldwide during market week. No, it's alright. It's okay, you can have it. Thanks. Hey, kid. 
Thanks, me and Rashad. If you're boy, I'm tea. I mean, I'm not rapping. I'm playing a combo on the inside. I like to drink my iced tea. And I'm Chris T. When I'm not wrestling, I like to drink my Arizona iced tea. Inside of Arizona iced tea, there's a whole bunch of nutritious flavors inside of it. A whole lot of nutrients and vitamins that you need for a healthy, strong body. See, now the man isn't gonna be honest with you, but I'm gonna be honest. Without this Arizona iced tea, you're gonna die. You will die. So I want you to go out and buy Arizona iced tea. Only one dollar. Oh my gosh, I love your bow. Thanks, yours is so bodacious. Thanks, it was only $2. I know, it was such a great deal. I'm getting more next week. Me too. I'm getting that for show. Från fel på korten för den där sidan spåret Jag växte upp med cigeller och romer Som spelar handklar ben och ville spå mig Medan min färsa tömde en flaska explorer Lärde mig lirik, gitarr och romma konen Django spintet spelade ut gramofonen Men säcken handklar vanger igen i romen Och bränsband lang var den där kvällen trädgården Du brukar bra men sen kom problemen Träffade tidigt i klämbenet Och skatte sediga mena skyldigheter Myndighet, rättssystem Sannolikheten är lite närmare som medlingen med man kanske borde byta namn eller Sälja sin husvagn eller Knacka ut sin guldtärn Men någon gång måste fördomen hinna sig kapp Du kan kalla mig utanför